Row 96. You wouldn't expect a cute road trip game to be so intense. But as the miles roll by, every decision you make could mean life or death. Okay, so we have to collect 12 achievements and 18 collectibles. My road trip started next to this big handsome man, John. Yeah. Whoa, and literally five seconds in, we're already being shot. What was that, John? Ah, uh, road pilot, young blood. Get in the back. What is a road pilot? You know how to handle a nail gun? Can't legally carry a gun, so you'll have to shoot him with nails. Take him down, young blood. Why am I doing like right nail gun? Oh, I need to do the tires. I'm so silly. Holy shit, I just blew up a car with a nail gun. Oh, After yeah! almost dying on my Young first blood, ever hitchhike, what's oh, where are his fingers? Been a blast. John dropped me off at the Night Skies campground, where I would get my first achievement by petting this random lady's cat. <gasps> a cat. What's little Pookie's name? That's Mr. Bottles. Pro, what was that? Cat person. Okay, I'm not a cat person, but you know. <gasps> a cat. Now that I exploited Mr. Bottles for my first achievement, I overheard some people arguing. Look, just give me the money and I won't Guys, call I'm the trying cops. to steal stuff over here. Keep it down. A guy got stabbed what was this code? 4166. Probably important. Once I found that code, I decided to go check out the ruckus, which is where I got my next achievement. Road pals. Road pals. Got an achievement. What's going on here, guys? Just stole money from my office, then tried to pay our rent with it. Basically, the old guy is a camp owner, and he's angry at Zoe because he thinks she stole money from him. But I did. 4166. <laughs> I'll be taking that. I then went and talked to the camp owner to rent a trailer with his own money that I just stole. Let me show you to your spacious trailer. After going to sleep, Zoe the little shit slammed on my window because she wanted someone to hang out with. Hey, hey. Why are you hey, so up. damn loud, lady? Come hang out with me. It's nice to have someone normal around with here. This campfire. A light in the darkness. <laughs> Zoe then made me show off my incredible musical talent. <laughs> Such a good musician. It's three in the morning. That's it. Both of you are gone by sunrise. Yes. Yeah, so turns out playing the trumpet at three a.m. makes people upset and gets you kicked out. On the bright side, though, I got my first collectible cassette tape. We should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, this is for you to remember this moment. Home call, first of 18. Okie dokie. Now that I had my first cassette, I decided to hitchhike where I ended up with Stan and Mitch. Hey kid, on your travels, have you met a woman named Sonia? Who the hell is Sonia? I don't think so. You'd know if you had. She's only the prettiest flower in all of Pepsi. While Stan and Mitch were yapping about Sonia, I noticed I could look inside of this bag where I found my second cassette tape. Far from home. Daniel Gad, was this made by Sonia kid? is in danger. Someone wants to end sweet Sonia's life. No, not Sonia. Stan and Mitch explained to me that someone wants to kill Sonia. And as it turns out, they were literally chasing their suspect and decided to pick me up on the way. Look at him, he's so <laughs> sus. So, kid, did you get a look at the driver? Uh, it was a skinny guy wearing That's a hat. That's my recollection, too. Wait you have until uncovered the killer's appearance, so he creep. is the killer. What the? Why is he coming back? Oh, nice person. Oh my People god. People like that don't deserve engine trouble. He's leaving! That wasn't the would-be killer, Stan. Way too nice. So Mitch the dumbass let the killer go and lost track of him. And I ended up on the side of the road at a bus stop where I then met Alex. Help me a sec, homie. What's up, little buddy? I got a bug I need to fix. Alex told me he needed some help fixing the telephone connection. To do this, he gave me a little metal detector so I could find a buried key. Take this computer. I put a metal detector on it. Okay, Check okay. the ground near the pole over there. Bro, this is not a metal detector. Should be some hidden keys to open the box and reboot the line. That is not a key. Oh, there it is. What's the bet? There's a cassette nice buried around here as well. Nice. There we go. Cassette three, I'm so smart. I'm glad I checked. After my genius prediction, I opened the box thing and pressed the button to reboot the Thanks, telephone dog. line. You hear no me now? problem, Alex. I, do. Yeah. I fixed Alex's telephone problem and he told me about a particular taxi driver. Word is, there's a psycho cabbie dude out there. Well, if he gets me Maybe to the water, I'm lost. But dead and stuffed in the trunk. Bro, I'm gonna die. 
quiet, please? I'm scared. Sorry. Forgot you were back there. Oh no, someone's in the boot. What was that, Jared? No. Oh no. I think I have a flat tire. Nah, Jared, you have some serious intentions. Sit tight, okay? Holy shit! Holy shit. Good bro, better you than me. While Jared was busy absolutely beating the guy in the back, I checked the front seat and found my next collectible cassette. Yes, another cassette. Alright, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. I don't know what the point of running was, as he literally could have just drove after me. Anyways, after running a couple hundred miles on foot, I ended up at some political event where I found my fifth cassette. Oh, what is this old car? Bro 96. He said it! He said it! Nice. Afterwards, I finally got to meet Sonia, and it turns out she's a famous news anchor. Look at this leprechaun, bro. You know how important this is to it. Where am I gonna find a loser to... Whoa, hey, Sonia. You there. It's your lucky day. Sonia has a job for you. Okay. What kind of job? The best kind. You get to film me for television. Now get behind the camera. Okay. Time okay. to make some effing magic. Yeah, just like that. Three, two. Don't zoom like that. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're the worst She's camera a bully. person I'm in the history she of camera person. person. Sonia then made me record the Minister of Oil. There's been a lot of talk of a brigade uprising, but am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark Holy on Holy shit, trip. that's so he's dad. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak. Praise President Tyrak. Tyrak oh. is a liar. Teens oh, are being shit. imprisoned every day. He's getting beat. Oh no, we definitely don't do stories like that. Later, after everyone had left, Sonia paid me for my immaculate camera work, which I then used on the payphone to get my next two achievements. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Where have you been? On a well, little trip. When are you coming back home? Aww. Oh, good. When you get back, we can <laughs> play, okay? Love you. Homesick. Call home. We're making a donation right now. This is the campaign donation fund for Senator Flores. Care to make a donation to her run for president of Petria? Yes, please. Ten dollars. Senator Flores, yeah, thank you for your help. Goodbye and good day. Because to you. I was loaded, I decided to catch the bus for the remaining miles until row 96, which is the last milestone to reach for each character. On the bus, I got another cassette and finally made it to road 96 for my next what achievement. What are you looking at, Peach Fuzz? New cassette. Hit the road. Bye, guys. Holy shit, this is pretty. Almost there. Reach road 96 for the first time. The reason why the achievement specifies for the first time is because you actually have to play through the game six separate times as different missing teenagers. But each time, the journey is different. Anyway, the game takes you to this cave, and to get an achievement, each new teenager that comes through here needs to stack a stone on this can, can, the rock thing. So I stacked my first one on top. I headed out the other side of this cave, up this little hill, and ended up at some sort of border crossing. Oh, it's like a border crossing. Continuing forward, I talked to this fella who told Keep me how to down, escape kid. the country. You want to get my wife and I busted? Bro, you what is she doing? You to convince doing? a guard to let you enlist. You seem smart. Yeah, Just I'm a genius. The the Hello, God. Here for the offshore work exam? Yes, please. Are you registered? Uh, of course. Mm. Everything looks in order. You can head inside. Number 13, you have passed. Stand up and leave. And may you well represent our blessed... With my first teenager playthrough being a success, I started the next one. The next playthrough started in a car with Alex. Where are you headed? Anywhere with free electricity. Oh, look, the little Just thing. need to charge my super dope tech in the back. Wow. Oh, a cassette. Dance machine. After collecting my next cassette, I ended up at a gas station where I found John yelling on the phone. What you did is, is that John? Hey, John. I swear to God, go away, young blood. Man, what the hell, John? Oh shit, we're in. Let's see what I can steal. Yes, I got a cassette. The mountain peak. 
What's in this one? <gasps> it's car keys. I headed back inside to buy a cassette tape in the store. Kate, who do you think you're talking to? Her name was Connie. Daniel Gad again? A brigade. This wrong what you're talking guy about is illegal. Yapping. Yeah, get out. That's it. I'm stealing your car. Steal car. Holy shit, am I doing 180 miles per hour? Oh no, I'm so screwed. Hello, officer. Any idea how fast you were going? 180. I'm gonna need your license and registration. Luckily for me, before I started speeding, I found the guy's vehicle papers in the glove box. Oh, Damn, this guy's loaded. He's got a set in here. Is, is... Isthmus? Bartholomew Vanderbilt. Yep, that's me. Really? Fanny. Oh, why would they name her that? Called the ops, but before she could oh, rattle me, the road pirates made another appearance. No way for the road pirates. She then got into my stolen car with me, let me drive at very dangerous speeds. My character is like 13, by the way. Weed through traffic and cause a catastrophic accident. I'm pretty sure I killed them. Slow down, kid! I can't slow down, holy shit. Oh no. They're gonna Stop! die. My bad, guys. Fanny told me to get out of while I conveniently thinking? leaving her government go. police ID Before in plain view. I'm not sure how she didn't see that. Obviously, I stole it and drove off into the sunset, where I somehow ended up in a different car. I'm glad oh, you're here. Not Zoe. Now I'm not the only one subjected to this. I'm subjected to dealing with you. Let's play this game I found and listen Zoe to then challenged me to a game of Connect Four where I absolutely yeah, destroyed her and I she gave that. me my next cassette tape. Oh yeah, I've won. You messed up. <sighs> you beat me. Damn right I beat well, you. Here, so you remember me. Ah oh, yes, another cassette. Afterwards, I cop oh, randomly no. and conveniently appears out of nowhere and decides to pull the only car on the road over. Why is he talking like that? Those your kids? No, sir. Just Sully, why are you them a staring ride? at me? I see. He says I look familiar, but I use my riz to convince Say, him otherwise. You look like one of the kids on the -uh. missing posters. Yeah, -uh. Here, have my stolen papers. The son of a police officer, are you? Wait, what? Uh oh, so he thinks I'm a spy. What about your little friend here? She the daughter of anyone? I see. Oh no, I'll I should have run it around. Some papers, little lady. What if we were to make a donation to road control? Oh sir? my god, they're trying to bribe him. A donation? Him. Well, for a donation, I suppose I could look the other Zoe way. Zoe being Zoe decides to escalate the situation for no reason and insult Wait, the cop. You're not really gonna pay this guy, are you? Excuse me? This turd oh in my a god, uniform Zoe, shut isn't up. gonna do anything. That's it. You're coming with me. Deserved. Good riddance, Zoe. Stay in the car, boy. The game then makes me choose between helping Zoe or staying in the car. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm staying in the car. After ditching Zoe, I ended up reuniting with Stan and Mitch. Keeping the tradition, Stan and Mitch picked me up mid bank robbery this time. Kid, do something to slow him down. I'm literally just giving the money they stole back right now. Once I had thrown all the money they stole, the police officer just stole it, and I noticed a cassette at the bottom of the box. Oh my god, he stopped to take the money. We are so stupid. Wait, there was a cassette. Yes, ultimatum. We lost all our darn money. Stan and Mitch got upset that I threw away their money and dropped me off at Road 96, getting me closer to earning the old pro achievement. That's two out of six. I then stacked my second stone on the rock thing. I'm still not going to learn how to pronounce that. Meaning I would only need one more for the stone after stone achievement. For this escape, I decided to try crossing the border. Oh shit, that's the border guard. Let's see if I can talk my way out of this. We have the money. And? Oh, never mind. I don't have the money. Please work. Yes! I saw this little building behind him and my little loot goblin brain had a neuron activation. I tried walking up the stairs, but the game thought I was trying to run. Get wait, 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 wait! Oh my god. There was also this random dude with me who selflessly helped me over the wall. Okay, thanks man. Oh my god. Oh my god, they shot him! After escaping with permanent survivor's guilt, I started my next teenager playthrough. And you wouldn't believe who I had to help. Look who it is. Hey. To progress and get an achievement, the game forces me to help Zoe, so I created a diversion for the cops. Okay, I'm gonna set this on fire and hopefully the cops come to look. What the? Let's check it out. 
I grabbed the car keys they conveniently left behind and used them to get inside for the handcuff keys so I could free Zoe and get my next achievement. Okay, I guess I'll help Zoe. Help a friend. Okay. Get ready to run. Uh oh, the cops are here. Don't shoot me, please. You hear that? help! Whoa! Oh my God, what is going on? We're in a fucking gang war. Oh, they're going, but they'll be back and with Such friends. His Lucky Papa we intercepted John. their comms. Check the van. The girl must be inside. We'll explain later. But right now, you two have to split up. Zoe, Bro, we have what? to go. Why her? Why not I, me? Uh, I hope I get to see you again. I hope I never see you again. Zoe and her goons drove off, leaving me once again stranded on the side of the road. I continued walking as it was my only option and stumbled across a little tent with a backpack inside containing another tape. Yes, another tape. Revolution 96. A little further up, I found this abandoned mine entrance. Look at. Wait, what the hell? I just wanted to look at it. Inside the mine, there was this little shrine containing another cassette tape. Ooh, a crazy chase. All right, guess we're walking again. So I'm too poor to afford anything. Cheeseburger. I bought a cassette tape at the counter. Okay, a new cassette tape. We should almost be done. And Get bought another from this kid outside here. the diner. Thanks, buddy. With all my money basically gone, my only option was to hitchhike, where I met Sonia again. The Sonia show. It's time. Time for what? For the Sonia show, of course. I never miss it. Now park those park buns. Park my here. buns. Park my buns here. What? We say it's live, but <laughs> that would be way too hard. New cassette tape. The brothers. After getting my second last cassette, I arrived at Road 96 once again. I placed my third rock on the rock thing for my next achievement, stone after stone. And that's a new achievement, stone after stone. My escape plan this time was to hide inside of a truck and let it drive me out of the border. Once I got inside, I hid behind these boxes, which provided me with like absolutely zero cover. Oh my God, I've got no cover. Is that a dog? No way, no fucking way, I don't have a treat. I don't have a treat. I'm gonna die. What is it, I'm gonna die. I'm done for. I'm done. Can you literally see me? What's up, brother? After I had snuck under the truck undetected, I successfully escaped. On to my next teenager, I started out in Jared's taxi where I would finally find my last collectible cassette tape to fulfill the achievement. Is this the last one? Oh yes, Alex the Hacker. It was the last one. Okay. Now that I had collected all the cassette tapes, I only needed three more achievements. So I made it to row 96 again, where I met up with a particular person I do not like. Hey, Holy get shit, down. fuck's sake, and Zoe. Oh my god, you legitimately scared me. Backpack, dirty, smelly. I, I am not smelly. So it led me to the cave as if I was a complete idiot. Definitely not because I am a completely different person and I've never been here before. But I digress. She then proceeded to tell me her top secret plan to get across Put the border. 191.9. 191.9? This is 191.9, the voice <gasps> of the brigades. That's this John. is your papa baby here. Before we begin, a personal message for Z. This is it. The rooster will sing three times. I repeat, the rooster will sing three times. That was a signal. At three in the morning, a truck will crash into the wall. It's a diversion, something to draw security in. That's when we cross. Oh my God, he's crashed. Right here. Come on. Oh, I'm coming, relax. Let's go. I'm going. We'll have 10 seconds to reach the exit. Once we jump down. Hurry up, Zoe. Yes, we can, but we have to believe. To jump up here, I'm gonna break my legs. Oh my god. Run, run. Oh my god, you dumbass! Of course Go. she fell over. We'll help her, because we're nice like that. Oh my god, I got shot. She's leaving me. Okay, I wasn't expecting to get shot while saving her but at least I got an achievement for it. After I died, my next teenager made it to Road 96 for the final time where I received the old pro achievement. Old pro? Reach Road 96 for the sixth time. It's been six times already? I then entered the cave, but something seemed off this time. What's going on here? This looks a bit saucy. Why is this on fire? Oh shit.
Oh my god, of course. You're under arrest. Yeah, so I got put in solitary confinement for just existing in a cave. Allegedly, I was trying to cross the border. Who are you? Just another kid who got caught. Okay. <laughs> my name's Max. Here is where I met my boy Max. Um, this is where they fried my boy Max. Oh my god, what are they, they doing? Him, man. I don't know if he can talk now. In all seriousness, I don't know what happened to him. He got fucked up. Anyway, today was election day, so that meant the revolution was in full swing. Stop that! Get your hands up! Stop! Oh my god, what is going on? Oh my gosh, it's John. Fortunately for me, John jailbroke me out of the prison van and commanded everybody to get to the border wall. Supporters on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigade. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? <laughs> Should we join the fight or escape? Uh, I'm just gonna join the fight. Fire Look at this glowfish looking Sir? down. Do Oh my gosh. Oh my god, they're killing everyone. Oh, poor Zoe, not gonna lie. The uprising that started that day spread oh, shit. to most of Petria, ensuring a fair, democratic election. Tyrak Border was arrested discovered and tried for his crime. That's the last achievement. The iron we did it. Closed, and the wall came down as well. Though it's far too early to tell what the future of my country holds, for the first time in many years, there is hope. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.